Remember when they hate me? Didn't think we made them? Not everything they used to look at me Remember when I called you? And you didn't fall through Now you hit your face and you look at me Look at me Granny, you see my new car? New car? Boy, are you even bought another car? Yes, come here, go check it out. Put that ragged one right there. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got no faith in my vision? Yeah, I have faith in your vision, but not in that one. <laughs> and what up, what up, what up? What's good with y'all? So what are we getting into today? So before we even get started with today, let me say Happy New Year's to all you motherfuckers viewing right now, man. Here it is, 2024 New Year. It's a whole nother year for some activities. You can see right here, we already starting to get ready. Yeah, I'm sham for some drifting. That ain't what we getting into today. Today, we're going to be picking up another car. Another car. I told you guys that the plan was to get rid of a couple cars, but today we're gonna pick up another one. This is a car I've been looking at. If you know me, you might already know what it may possibly be. I've been hitting to it. I've been saying I wanted one, and today I'm gonna go pick it up. I think this car, though, purpose gonna be of this car is going to be a literally track or race only car. I'm not even gonna register it probably. It's probably going to be like my first official real drag build. I'll give y'all a hint. I've already kind of been calling this thing the junkyard dog. Some of y'all may know. I've posted this car before. Some of y'all may have seen it already. But today, we're going to go pick it up. Officially my first specific track only build. Should be a fun one. But, yep, that's what we're getting into. So, we're waiting for our boy Rick to get here. We're going to, man, we got to, this is a mission. This is probably the furthest I've went to go grab a car. Granny just woke up looking mean as hell. Mmm, smile. Smile. Got a piss. Mmm. All right, so that boy SOB Rick is here. Just pulling up. This nigga always bring it company. Man, what's up, Black? It's enough room back there for you? Nah, your short ass should have been back here. I could get in the back. You want to jump in the back? Nah, you good. Man, look at these rolls, boy. <laughs> you want to come all the way out here? If it was a quicker way. I thought, I thought it would be like an actual freeway to get here. We on back roads to the hills and the mountains. Man, we this is like a real ass, real barn find. Man, look at this view. Jeez. Hey man, we here. Farmland. I don't know how Rick gonna make a U-turn. Shit, we got four wheel drive. Real ass barn find. <laughs> Too. Bruh, I just missed what she just said. I know. <laughs> but she literally just said she didn't want her neighbors to start shooting at us. Because he a redneck. <laughs> you getting out or are you scared? You standing in the car. No, I'm not. I don't want to get shot at. I'm back up. Should we for your boot or your gun? <laughs> oh. Alright, man. So, we're here. And the car that I'm about to be picking up is right in front of us. So if you know me, you guys know that I've been wanting a full ride, full ride notch. So here we go, the barn find right here. The junkyard dog. <laughs> Which one is Michael? That's me. Ah, that's you. Yeah, that is I. Huh? 
Minus a little fender. We just pop that out. We just pop it out. Oh yeah, yeah. Other than that. A movie or something. Oh yeah. In this Lake County area, that's what it is. We need to make some noise here. <laughs> <laughs> So my plan for this is I want to keep this thing looking raggedy. I want this to be the junkyard dog. So aesthetically on the outside it looks a little rusty but when you pull the floor pans back, look check it out. There's literally no rust. I had him send me pictures of all this beforehand look no rust whatsoever frame rails no rust look at the interior <sighs> when have y'all seen interior this clean minus the dash dash is well but look at the interior need a little vacuuming but the fuck is clean it's definitely clean little junkyard dog Look at that, boy. You can pop it. No, I couldn't. I couldn't open it myself. Is it unlocked? I couldn't open it. That is the. I don't know how you're gonna do it from. Oh, there. No, that door panel's gonna have to come off. Yeah. I could. No. Just, just open the trunk. Yeah. So what was it? What was the name of the other guy that came in before you guys? I didn't oh recognize. God! Oh, I don't know who. who? Wayne? No. Oh, you're Wayne Michael. What's no. the name? I don't know. I don't know. There was another guy that came. Yeah, I don't know him. Yeah. Well, yes. He, he says that he knew you guys. Obviously, he was the one that uh that he was into. He did. He told me that he was. Doing it. Look yeah. at that radiator support, everything is straight. It's not too bad. This is literally gonna be my junkyard dog. I'm not cleaning this up like I did the last two notches. I want this thing to just be a patina, wet sand it, clear coat it, badass motor, full suspension, everything, and just mob it. Probably a drag car, sleeper. But I can't help myself. I ain't gonna leave this patina. Interior too clean, man. I gotta paint it. I gotta paint it. I gotta paint it, y'all. I'm sorry. I know. I don't know. Another, another, another. I gotta find a drift car for my drift car for my drift car. <laughs> this is the car I should be drifting. I should be drifting this thing, not the Swang's thing. This, I mean. This, it, thing, it, this, this Swang's thing. This, this really saying that you need to be drifting the Swang's thing, not this one. Yeah, this is actually hella clean. So, like, he's like, don't patina. patina. He's like, paint it, bro. No, no, you should no, no. paint this one. I, I'm fucking I like with, the I'm fucking with, I'm fucking with the, the patina. The patina looks good. No, it do, it do. It's like it's a natural, clean, clean and, patina. And, and, and yeah. it still has like the pinstripe on it and everything. Like, like you said, that wet sand is going to make the difference with y'all that, that but, flaky paint but on. But you don't want to wet sand the stripe away. Nah, wet sand it like 2,000 grit. Just to get, I mean, I'm sure. you know, just to get the hard really stuff. Nah. Yeah, 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 just the hard. Just so when you, yeah, when you, when you fill that thing with the clear on it. This, this is a nice one though. I'm jealous. <laughs> Only thing is like, fuck, trying to get this this den out right here is gonna be hard. Uh, Cause I wanna keep the, sh keep the shape of it. Well, you could probably have somebody bang it from the inside. It looked like somebody just- That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure this could be straightened up. If, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Wide body it if we, we, you know what I'm saying? We gotta paint it. <laughs> Frame rows, everything look good. No, they super straight. They're straight. This is straight as you gonna see them. Bracey, underneath it? I haven't got to you. I'm trying to put the tires up. Watch when we get on the trailer when you see the uh, frame rows. It's definitely the file lug. Here's your paper then. Oh, paperwork. Thank you. Thank you. Bro, this thing literally got the the natural two tone. Look at that. Never be broke. The OEM paint right there. 
And just buff it out, you know what I'm saying? The side will be all hidden. Uh, what other vehicles are you interested in? I mean, how many... What other what other old school cars you got sitting out here we don't know about? Got some Chevelles, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> some 69 some Fastbacks. We'll be right back. Sometimes that's... When's the last time you seen one closed like that, though? Since mine. Since yours. Before or after the 12 times you crashed it. Only on the passenger side, and it's still shut on. All right, here we go. Junkyard dog about to be getting loaded up. That's what she said too. <laughs> Look, your your grass will grow back right here now. <laughs> That's what my kids are using it for, Verona. Nah, it's gone. It's winching itself up. Another project officially got my four eye. Patina. We're leaving this patina with a badass motor in it. They think I'm not going to do it. We're going we're gonna to see. Man, this thing already slammed, boy. Uh, just, just one. Just one. Tucking. Because you know people paint their shit gray. <laughs> I'm leaving it just like this. I am. No, no, this would be. Hey, well, hey, once you once you put rims on it and shit. Yeah, she. <laughs> bro, the old the old wheels that were on the uh the green car beforehand, the five spokes. Oh yeah, yeah. It will look hella clean on here. Plus keeping all the chrome trim and everything. Mm. Already got it mapped out. All the suspension done, engine bay painted, everything on the inside looks clean. Mm -hmm. Outside, eh. Yeah, well, that way there would be no temptation. Dude, project, can, that's a good uh, one. Fresh new project. <laughs> <laughs> I come across to something like this, I will just uh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's get this thing home. Happy New Year. Well, happy New Year. Enjoy. Hopefully, hopefully your neighbor don't shoot at us when we leaving. Well, we ain't going no, that you way. gotta go back to. <laughs> <laughs> so don't don't go his way. No, no, that, is, that is my road. So I let him use the road, but I I have had it with him. Yeah, tell him to stop shooting at your people. He's a Fucking with me, that'd be his last drink. <laughs> Alright, we back on the road. These niggas doing drug drugs. Not <laughs> 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 to look around. Just to know, like, where are these niggas at? <laughs> right. <laughs> drug drugs. Can't say that out here. Right. Hold <laughs> up. They really do drugs. They really do, for <laughs> real. <laughs> This is like a, this is a... Who got drugs? It's real methy out here. <laughs> That's meth up. I'll just slow ass for a second. Hi, right, 12 hours later, we finally back Day in town. <laughs> it's a long ass drive. But yeah, we here. The HUD about to drop this thing now. My neighbor's like... So you want to put another bucket? I mean, he's about to roll down. He good. <laughs> Granny, you see my new car? Car. Come here, come here. Boy, oh, you even bought another car? Yes, come here, come check it out. Is it mine? It's ours. <laughs> come here, come here. Come here, come check it out. Come on, come on, come on, Granosaurus Rex. I'm coming. That's what she said. <laughs> come on. 
Put that raggedy one right there. <laughs> you don't like it? You don't like it? What kind is that? It's a Mustang. It's the same. Well, it's it's a notch bag, just like the one in the garage I got from your brother. Remember how remember how raggedy the one in the garage was when I first got it? This one's in better condition than that one was. I don't know. Yeah, the one I got from your brother was raggedy as hell. Didn't even have no interior. Look at the go look at the interior. It's full interior. Full interior and it's clean on the inside. Clean on the inside, raggedy on the outside. But it can get us. So that's my car. Sure. I'm gonna never finish it because you think it's your car. We'll just make sure it never runs. It'll sit here in the driveway looking good. No. Yes. No. You don't like that? You don't like that rusty look? No. Why? It's called patina. That's a that's a style now. No, it ain't. It is. No, it ain't. It's called patina. Don't that sound sexy? Patina. No. Yes. Look at that thing. It's gonna be sick when I'm done. You ain't got no faith in my vision? Yeah, I have faith in your vision, but not in that one. <laughs> <laughs> How much you pay for that one? Two thousand dollars. What? A sheep. It's clean. Interior's clean. The body's clean. It's all original. It hasn't been taken apart. You gotta understand when it comes to these old cars, you don't you don't want something that somebody already started on. I found this on a farm. It's I don't a, see no windshield wipers. Uh it's inside the car. We're talking about the body. <laughs> I don't even I don't even have window windshield wipers on the green car or the other one. Get back inside. You ain't about to keep talking about my car. <laughs> go, go away. <laughs> Alright, so what are the future plans for the notch back that we just got? I know my JDM fans are black. Like, ah, you got another notch. I really want y'all to really like remember. Just bear with me. I know we still got our JDM cars. Just bear with me. You guys know that this notchback was literally my very first car. So before I was really into any of the JDM stuff, my favorite was always notches. Granted, I love the Supras, 300ZX and FDs and all that stuff. First love was the notches, man. That's what me and uh, that full black Aaron grew up on. So when I originally started building this notchback, this was originally supposed to be a LS swapped notch but it ended up staying 5.0. The motor that was in there the whole time ended up being like a rebuilt motor that my uncle had put in. And I remember I bought the car from him. So I decided to keep this one all forward, did the turbo stuff, bam. And then I went and bought my second notchback, which was the Swain Stang. The original plan for that was that car was supposed to be LS swapped. It was supposed to be my full drift car, blah, 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 and the whole load nine. Ended up getting a sponsorship through Vortec for the supercharger. And a lot of y'all wanted to see it stay forward, but I had already bought the LS swap kit and stuff for it. So here we are, two notchbacks in, and I still didn't get to do my LS swap one. And originally before I even bought the Swang thing, I was looking for a four eye coupe, man. I wanted a four eye coupe hella bad. I was not planning on getting the same one as this one as last time. And I just so happened to get another one. So. Now that I have what I've really been wanting, which is the 4i Coupe, this is going to be the one that I finally LS swap. And I know, I know, I know, I know. Just wait. I know y'all are tired of saying LS swaps because we're talking about LS3 swap in the 6.4. You guys know that I have a twin turbo motor and all this stuff. But listen, listen, listen. The AJE kit that I had already purchased that was supposed to be going in for the swing stain instead of using that LS3 swap kit or instead of using that LS swaps kit on the 6.4 because I know D doesn't like the AJE setup, we're gonna be swapping that one to a maximum setup and then I can use the AJE combo and this thing. Also something that I've been thinking about is if I decide to use my twin turbo motor that I've been building for this thing, because a lot of people wanna see me keep this thing forward, officially, you know, I think, the route I would probably be doing if I decided to go that way is no, it is not going coyote, but I would probably look into possibly maybe 
doing a 7.3 liter Godzilla swap in this thing. I know that sounds more appealing to a lot of y'all. So we're gonna see, I'm gonna talk to D, figure out which way I wanna go about it because I really want this thing to literally be the, the sleeper underdog. Part of me wants to keep it patinaed and just leave it like this, do all the crazy suspension, get everything looking clean, get it sitting nice and just have a badass motor in it. But the inner perfectionist in me like really wants to be like, all right, yo, we fully restore this the same way we did the other two notches. But like, I love four eyes, man. This would be one like, all right, I'm keeping this. I would love to like wide body this thing and make it hella aggressive and just have it nasty. So I'm up in the air if I want to do the wide body, go crazy, get it painted, dope ass twin turbo uh, LS3 setup, make you know nasty power and just have a wild ass street car i don't know you know plans may be possibly changed for 2024 but i do think a 7.3 liter godzilla would be insane in here plus it would keep this thing forward um i could probably talk to vortex or whoever offers a supercharger kit or just do a twin turbo or single turbo setup on the godzilla motor i just man i just think a godzilla in here would be insane but I'm also a huge fan of the LS3. I don't care if I LS3 swap both of these things, you know? But I don't know. We're gonna see what uh, direction we go with this. Like, this is definitely gonna change the, the plans a little bit. I don't know, I've been all over the place. I even thought about pulling the supercharged motor combo out of the swing thing and throwing it in here. That way this thing is just a 500 horsepower supercharged, you know, junky looking thing. And then doing the LS setup like I was originally planning to do in the swing thing. But I don't know. I don't know which direction I want to go. So many options right now, but we'll see what uh, what direction we go in the future. But I really want to get on this thing. So this probably isn't going to be done anytime soon. If anything, I'm going to get all the suspension stuff done. Uh, file lock conversion, maybe possibly the stage two angle kit that I have for this car, maybe throw it on that car. That way it's, you know, all done and sitting. And then when we get cracking on this, I can just rebuy another stage two angle kit. But the purpose of this, like definitely if we go twin turbo LS, is gonna be to make that my official like nasty drag car. But uh, yeah, man, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me, uh, let me know what you guys think. I know, I already know my JDM people are gonna be hating that I got another notch, but uh you know that car is for me man we'll see how much i even put that car on the channel but it was definitely something i wanted i'm pretty much gonna do a copy and paste of this car on that car as far as all the suspension stuff goes all the maxim motorsport stuff i literally have it all in the shopping cart right now maybe possibly do a torque arm setup how the swing stain has but it will be full maxim motorsport catalog uh fuel coilovers pretty much what i've done to the last two so i might not really vlog that as much because you know i've done it twice already but that car out there is like a car for me so we'll see what happens but anywho i'm gonna be wrapping this up hopefully you guys enjoy it let me know what y'all think you know what i'm saying if y'all hate me for getting another notch back i still love y'all hope you're gonna be sticking around still and vibing with your boy i'm out here man till next time